Indiana Grand Racing and Casino and Helping Hands for Freedom teamed up to honor fallen and wounded warriors by naming races in their honor. Our newest reporter, Rachel Martin, takes us to this special event. Hey, Rachel here, and tonight we are in Shelbyville at the Indiana Grand Racing and Casino for a very special event to salute our armed forces. It's a fundraiser where some of the portions go to our dear friends, Helping Hands for Freedom. People forget about the things that, that, that are important sometimes, and we wanted to remind folks that you know, you're privileged to be able to drive to work in the morning and not worry about coming home at night. Uh, but some of these guys that are here tonight, they paid the ultimate price. Some of the families here lost their loved ones. Some of these guys are carrying wounds that they'll have forever, and we wanted to recognize that. Our sixth guest of honor, the founder of America's Mighty Warriors. She still has three kids serving our country. They wanted to still serve, had four in the service at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder of America's Mighty Warriors, Debbie Lee Martinez. Now I know you were saying probably your biggest nightmare is to get that call or get that knock on the door saying that your son has died. What about the day when he said, you know what, Mom, I think I'm going to go into the armed forces. What was your reaction to that? Very proud moment. My oldest son, Christopher, went in the Marines in August of 2000. My son-in-law, Christopher, went in the Army in October of 2000. In May of 2001, Mark went in the Navy. I'm very proud of all of my sons and son-in-law who served and the sacrifices that they made and that they were willing to give up to their life, if need be, for this country, as Mark did. Um, the other two, that wasn't required of them, but still the sacrifice that's made by our men and women who serve. For you, for me, for the freedoms, like I said, they don't know. Most of the people that they give their lives for, they've never met. They don't know them. Yet they love this country and loved Americans enough to be willing to do that to defend us. Definitely takes a special kind of person, which is why you created your foundation. Yes. Tell us more about your foundation. You bet. I started America's Mighty Warriors in response to Mark's amazing last letter home, which people can read at our website at americasmightywarriors.org. That letter literally has impacted millions and millions of lives around the world and continues to. Weekly, I get letters of people who said, I just read your son's letter and I see what you're doing. And, you know, some of them even said I was going to end my life. And how could I do that knowing what your son's given and what you continue to give in the loss? And we're dedicated to our troops and to their families. 